World NGO Day is marked on the 27th of February every year to celebrate and commemorate NGOs and collaborate with one another. Inutera held an open day at its civil society hub and encouraged guests to share their stories. We were humbled and inspired by the incredible work they do and hope you will be equally motivated and encouraged. So my name is Vanessa Nelson. Organization was um, founded in 2006 um, in Aedefeld. It was founded um, because of my firstborn who was diagnosed with ADD at the age of six and at the age of eight he was diagnosed with ADHD and it was a foreign language to me. I didn't understand, I didn't know what it meant and then realizing um, um, that he had a learning disability and the need for uh, me to support him um, and having him removed from an academic um, schooling system environment, I then realized he's not alone. And so that is my hope for the future we'll found it. Can you tell me a bit more about where you are at now, years okay. later? Years later, um, we have now, um, we have under our banner 20 programs, you won't believe it. So, um, sad to say that uh, we have not the enough manpower, um, but our programs run. So we have 20 programs, the um, two main programs is our gender-based violence, and um, the supporting children with learning disabilities. We've got quite a few feeding scheme, pensioners, support and, and all of that. But we've got a lot of programs. And what have been some of the challenges along the way? Oh, that challenges started in the beginning and still persists. The fact that um, the support for non-profits, um, look, it's a non-government organization. And we find that the, the red take around how we, even though we're on the ground and we want to apply for funding, we're actually doing the programs, we run on no funds, we get, we have support but very little support. Um, so we find that I think government needs to relax on certain rules and regulations, when especially it comes to the um, CBOs that's on the ground. And we find that people with money, it's still the same thing, people with money are able to pay people to do the reports and do that and whatever. And then we that is actually doing the work um, is not able to access because I cannot pay an agency to do those type of applications, you know, we as as, as the board. And, and, and I think that is um, um, a sad reality to this day. So what keeps you motivated apart from your personal interest? My passion and the love for my community and um, from, I, I've adopted them as my extended family. And so the visions of what is, uh, say I'm the founder, some people don't like it, but I am the founder of the organizations. And 14 of the programs is visions that God gave me in my sleep. We would discuss certain things and then um, to narrow it down to get to a program name, a particular name, um, I would pray before I go to bed and then God gives it to me in my sleep and that is how it, it was born, all the other programs. And then we have people that want to partner with us in terms of what they offer. And so we collaborate and we network. Hence the reason we're having 20 programs not funded. That's an incredible story. So <laughs> can you tell me a bit more about successful collaboration? Very successful collaborations is with um, 1,000 women. Um, and so I am a rape survivor, I'm a gender-based uh, um, survivor, I became a victim, I was a victim, I became a survivor um, and a champion, but I'm a warrior now. And the success stories for, for the future in terms of gender-based violence is that CETA, um, our safety um, uh, um, sector, had a, a AGM last year and they invited me to the agent because I met the CEO at the, at the uh, program in Durbanville last year. And he made a promise to, to, to connect and we connected and we met um, a couple of weeks ago. And he promised at the agent that he's gonna come on board. So CETA so is on board with GPV's concern. Second thing, the main two reasons why this organization was founded. So I believed at, uh, um, when my child was diagnosed with ADHD, ADD and ADHD, and when uh, in, in struggling, um, with him, but I was able to remove him from the mainstream and to a school what, that fitted his needs. So the, um, the curriculum, current academic curriculum is 
it's build around children who's academically sound and not for children with a disability or uh, uh, um, people don't like, the department don't like to call it a disability um, or uh, uh, um, they differently abled as we abled, we they differently abled, vice versa. Um, and I feel that there was um, not very little, very little support or no support for them. So the one victorious and, and, and uh, um, thing that I am so proud about is that I believe that their rights um, to quality education, fitting around children for learning disabilities were violated for all for decades. And that the South African Human Rights Commission is on board. We've sent a letter, they've done their survey, they've done their in, in inquiries and found that there is a gap. And that um, they on board advocating um, our fight and our plight for parents, but especially children who suffer with learning disabilities, whether it's ADD, ADHD, um, autistic children, autism, FAS and whatever else. So there is, um, it's been acknowledged and that is one of our um, biggest fight. And also we have, since we've, at uh, the inception of starting this last year, we've had um, organizations outside of Cape Town that has requested the help because they find it in their areas. And so the, um, we need to be the voice. And I, I remember deciding to be a voice, not just for my son, for other children, and to give parents the support. Not, not, not being funded, but we manage and we cope. Okay, so if there is one thing that I want to get right, and that I need, and I believe that I need to get right before God takes me away, is to make sure and ensure that children with learning disabilities, all children, um, have, um, Will, will then become a success story and that their futures is bright because currently is not. So I'm hoping and praying that God is going to keep me along and alive long enough um, to ensure and fight for children with learning disabilities. If that is all that I can do, is what I want to do, is to make sure that their futures is bright and not to give up on me. Mm -hmm.